Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm talking about Destiny 2. We are going to be talking about the dawning, the new event for the season. And spoiler alert, I think it's fucking gross. So let's get on to the story real quick. And I knew it was going to be bad, but I just did not think it was going to be this bad. So let's go to the dawning section. So if you guys can see clearly, we have three armor sets, new three new ones. This one being from 2018, 2017, and this one 2019 this year. So <clears throat> if you're like me and you're missing pieces or you just don't have any of the armors, you're looking at $45 for each class. So to put that in perspective, if you put it all together, that's $135. You guys know that's probably almost as uh, as much, if not more, than the collector's edition for Shadow Keep. Do you know how wild it is that Bungie is pricing these more than a season? Bro, I do not understand how the community does not see that as a problem. I certainly see that as a problem, considering it's it's funny because i see it as a problem but i know there's fucking assholes out there that's buying this shit and it's just like bro like stop like stop being a part of the problem and like i'm not I'm, i know i'm like not i'm not one to like point fingers because i have bought stuff in the past but i've never bought something this much like 15 dollars for an ornament for an armor set it's turned me off of just like looking at the ever result together i only buy stuff that i know that i'm gonna use like all the time and even then i still have some regrets on, on a few things but it's just really wild to me that people are like no they gotta make money somehow it's like but like they do though like they've made a lot of their money back from destiny 2 vanilla when it came out that did really well it sold well it, the DLCs sold well even though they were garbage like or at least that's what I remember I could be wrong on that but they're making a plethora amount of money and they're not even free to play they're free to enter it's just it's really wild to me that there's so many Destiny apologists they're just like no nah, like the game's fine it's in a good state even though this is all like all this shit is in Eververse and I think I've only gotten what let me see the SMG if I remember correctly. Where are his? I've gotten the cold front. I've gotten this one, and then I got this sparrow right here, and that's it for now. Because for some fucking reason, this shit is bugged. Where. I have to give Saint 14 candy even though the fucker's not there. So it's like on top of getting Everest stuff at this level where it's like all this shit. Bro, like I, I want to put all of it together like money wise, but I'm just I don't care because most I've stopped caring about weapon ornaments. I've stopped caring about emotes. I have actually never cared a bit about emotes. Finishers, I thought were cool until I realized that's gonna be another way for them to monetize. So immediately stopped caring about that. Ghost ships, I stopped caring. I don't care about the Eververse anymore. The only reason, the only like thing that gets me to care is the armor sets. The armor sets is one thing that actually changes the game for me in like a very true way. I mean, don't get me wrong, weapon ornaments do change the game as well. Like, especially if let's say the this weapon, like the sights were different and better in some cases they are if, if that's the case then i mean at that point i i get even more annoyed and i'm not gonna lie guys i am super super like i'm a super hypocrite because i know for sure i'm gonna waste money on this i know and that's just me being for real like i'm sorry i'm part of the problem but it's really fucked up that they're like banking on essentially my love for this game and I mean, that's how they make money, but it's just fucked up because they could have been like Warframe where the monetizing in that game is just so much more friendly in my opinion. I mean, there's, granted, there is a bunch of scummy shit that happens, but the only thing that's like truly you have to pay is like the weapon, or not the weapons, I'm sorry, the 
the prime parts that come with a new a new uh, Warframe part prime. So even then, it's like, yeah, I mean, I haven't gotten those things. I don't got the event stuff either. But at that point, I'm literally bitching about like a minuscule amount of things when if you go to the store and realize, oh, I can farm all this if I want to get like uh, platinum. In this game, it's like, no, you you don't get, you never get any silver. You get like a pathetic amount of bright dust, a hundred per, this is fucking pathetic. Like just keep your shit. Obviously you guys don't want us to have anything nice. And ultimately the dawning is just another great example of Bungie trying to be free to play like trying to market themselves as a free to play game with their microtransactions but not giving us the free to play benefits so if you don't think that's a problem then i mean hey man i would love to live your life you obviously live a better life than me apparently because 45 dollars for one character when this is a looter shooter like dog i remember in 2017 and 2018 these two were you were able to get this in game and i know people are gonna be like well no there were in ingrams tony that that's not in game actually you used to be able to earn ingrams in game by just doing whatever the fuck you wanted so yes in it was in game because all i had to do was play the game didn't really have to worry about anything so that's really fucked up that now it's like Oh, if you were playing for that, then yeah, because you already have it, you don't have to pay for it. But like, I was there for these two. The only reason I didn't get these is because I didn't play enough for this one. Because I ended up getting Destiny 2 on PC, which meant all my shit from Destiny 2 vanilla and onwards were lost to the ether. Because Bungie decided not to give me my item back when I switched to PC. So that's cool. Love that. Uh, really love that. And even then, the, like, the Hunter's armor is very basic. I'm very disappointed with the with the Hunter's armor. Other than that, everyone else has really cool armor. I'm missing literally the boots. And last year, this was, I was able to get this through Eververse. So again, this is very disappointing. This one, I'm very, I'm very stricken about because I love this armor for each class. All of the classes have awesome armor. Not only that, but I have seen some. I've seen some wild shit some streamers have been saying about like, oh, like people shouldn't be able to get this because you should have been there or <clears throat> just the wildest shit. And then I saw like, I'm not going to name names because I'm not like there yet, but it's really wild to me that they're so like disconnected from reality where it's like, oh yeah, I don't think the, I don't think the bright dust economy or anything like that's bad because like it's fine even though they have like upwards to like 50,000 to like 200,000 bright dust. And I'm just like, homie, I have 6,000. Like, what the fuck do you mean? And this is me grinding every day. Like, this is me playing like 10 hours a day. I play this game more than I really should. So don't come at me telling me like, oh no, the bright dust is fine. The bright dust economy is fine. Or yeah, it could be a little better, but I mean, it's not enough for you to be bitching, bro it's it's really it's really crazy to me because you're i know people are going to comment down below oh but eva levante now gives you bright dust okay cool so two more bounties that give me 200 the fuck is that gonna do and that's only for this seat for this event and then maybe for crimson dawn but even then how can you really justify this when 45 dollars for just for just armor three armor sets that should be in the game like this shit should be in the game it's a, i don't care what the fuck you tell me bro every other mmo has events that give you free shit this game what is it giving me one one weapon reskin and one sh one uh sparrow that's it what's even crazier is if we look at the bright dust section it's all fucking garbage there's no armor it's like maybe this one could be considered cool but then a ship ghost shitty ghost shitty sparrow and then i mean a, okay what the fuck ever it's uh, it's just it's just wild to me that we got this 
and people are like yes Bungie please oh my god yes like this is amazing yes like mm, is it like I don't know dog this is it's it's really wild to me bro like 21,000 silver 2100 silver for three finishers that's more than two seasons what the fuck it uh, you know what it's honestly I would just these prices are just way fucking ridiculous in my opinion eight dollars for a finisher get the fuck out of here bro it should not be eight dollars six dollars for an ornament considering these used to be eight dollars i think whatever seven dollars for a weapon ornament especially when these are actually tangible if the barrels are longer it means more damage the fucking sights could be better which means some guns you could actually use more than others like let's say this is not a good example because they don't have any snipers or scout rifles but let's say this one even though this is a mega reskin what if the, the iron sights were way better for this gun than one in in-game? That's just fucked up. This one, I, it, it just it just fucking kills me, bro. It really does. That <clears throat> I'm really trying to look as cool as I can. Like, my transmog, I really love transmog in this game. I love looking different, looking cool as fuck. And I think my hunter looks cool as fuck right now it looks very threatening very menacingly like just looks cool but what kills me is that i would love to have some of the armor sets that i wasn't there or that i was there but because i started playing in destiny 2 forsaken on pc means i lost all that shit i would love to have like this armor back i know i didn't have like the helmet but everything else i had i would love to have this right here i would love to have all of this right here and it's fucking really crazy to me because like I would combine so much of these not probably not that one but I know the the old Christmas armor which for some reason you can't see there like this I would love to have this and change the color to like the, the color I have now and that would probably be the armor set that I'd be rocking right now because that shit looks cool it just it really kills me that we play a looter shooter where most of the loot or at least the cosmetic loot is behind a fucking paywall that expects you to pay upwards to like fifteen dollars for an armor set and that shit just tickles me that shit makes me laugh so hard like i compare this to like world of warcraft or final fantasy 14 and i know people are going to be like that's not really fair because that, they have a subscription and you know that's how they monetize and it's like i mean doesn't bungie do that do that already though like ten dollars for a season it's essentially just i mean they're cheaper than final fantasy 14 and wow i'll give you that but it's essentially the same thing so i just i don't know man they call themselves an mmo i'm gonna treat them as an mmo because even 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 mmos that aren't paid are better than this and it's really just crazy to me i'm just gonna keep saying that it's just crazy to me because like once upon a time the loot in this game was fucking fantastic but now we don't even get nightfalls that have arm that have unique like weapons or armor we don't have so much shit so for me this 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 event has just been bad we know that most of the loot actually we know that all of this is going to be coming out for bright dust i'm not sure about the armor because we haven't seen it in the database but we don't we know that the only one that's only paid like the only one that's going for silver is perfect 10 from what they've said so everything else you can get for bright dust but i'm not a fan of them always the first week of something them giving us shit like they always give us some piece of shit that we're just not like what the fuck ever so I don't know how they're going to sell us the armor if they're going to sell us the armor. I mean, you could tell me, Tony, you can buy this armor. It's 6,000 bright dust. Homie, 6,000 bright dust? That means I have to grind a fuck ton. Like, I have to do the three weekly, the three, no, I'm sorry, the, the eight weekly bounties for this season, because there's only eight this season, and then next week is, or next, the next event, whatever. 
I have to do Crucible Vanguard and Gambit plus Eva now. And then I already have 6,000 now, so that means I can get the Hunters and then maybe it's like a Warlock or a Titan. But it's just really crazy to me that the, the Bright Dust economy is this garbage that unless you're like some big ass YouTuber or streamer that has 50,000 or 200,000 fucking Bright Dust, you're going to be missing out on a lot of this armor. And that fucking sucks because that breeds this whole mentality of like, well, you should have been there. And it's like, that's fucking stupid. This is an event, bro. Like, this is literally a fucking event. It's supposed to be a free event, even though all this shit's behind a paywall. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the event. I'm not the biggest fan of it, if you guys can tell. I think $15 for each armor set is fucking like gross it's so so gross because spoiler alert destiny 2 is not a free-to-play game it's not even close to being a free-to-play game you still have to pay for a bunch of shit so if you're gonna come at me with oh, it's a free-to-play you guys they gotta make money somehow they make a lot, fuck ton of money already so i don't understand how being given us the ability to destroy all the or dismantle all the engram stuff into bright dust i don't understand how that's a big deal when most of the people who are destroying their money on this t this type of events are casuals casuals and fucking like other people so i'm i'm just kind of lost so that's just me though let me know what you guys think am i wrong probably you probably tell me in the comments below if i'm wrong but other than that I, if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support and love that you guys have been giving me i really do appreciate it and other than that i will see you guys later